hello guys welcome to my channel and this is the third video of uh, find operation and in this video we will be uh, writing the local logic in uh, main form itself and then we will be uh, seeing the demo for find operation first let's get started with uh, find let's just uh, create a reference to form find and actually form find form find so add the using statements and then go here and create a instantiate a form find first and uh, let's do it here form find is equal to new form find so we will be giving uh, the, the this access to the main form itself to form find so we should be passing this which will pass this instance of main form to form find and we should also give access to the text area here and uh, that's needed so editor is the rich text box property in form find we should give access to this text area so this should work we have given access to the text area to the form find so every change we make within the form find should reflect in the main form itself finally we need to do something here so we need to use text area dot height selection height selection is equal to false so basically what this option does is that whenever we are uh, opening multiple forms and uh, basically when the main form loses focus and still the selection is done it will not be highlighted normally when this option is used it will be highlighted so if you are going to use find and then use this so this is a separate form in our case and this is uh, the main form and it should stay highlighted so to achieve this staying highlighted thing we are going to we are using this option here we are using this as and setting it as false so now let's write the code right for uh, find next so let's double click this and create a event handler and double click this and create another event handler for both options and now we can write code for both for find menu item it's rather simple we need to check whether this is equal to null or not so basically when we are closing uh, this sometimes it might uh, go out of focus and get disposed of and becomes null so we are just checking this if it is null create another new object and pass the main form reference and as well as uh, form find set the editor to text area and finally show this form so that's it for uh, find menu item and but for find next what we are going to do is it will be enabled only if the pre user has previously entered something in the search string, uh, text string box for searching basically if uh, one time he has entered something and it will be in focus and then it means that we can just press find next and uh, give the next occurrence of the string basically what i am saying is so here previously i have selected this as search string and when i click this and only when this is selected in the previous search we, i can just click on this and it will go on this if i haven't selected anything previously it should be asking uh, to the user for a search string as such it would ask for the first time 
so let's go on to update view and write a write a line there we will be writing a find next edit menu dot enabled is equal to is equal to find edit menu dot enabled and let's get to the code for find next menu item so in this method we are going to do something that is form find first update the query I think it's not exposed it should be just make it public so we can call the same here dot update so the search query is first updated and then we are going to check for the search string here form find dot query dot search string dot length greater so we are checking whether something is there to be searched so if there isn't something we need to open the form find itself so we need to ask the user to type in something so we can show this form and ask for input if there is something so if the search string has a length greater than zero there is something to be searched for so find clicking the find nest will make sense in that case so we can go to find next result so we can create a result object here and we can call edit operation and uh, we can just call the particular method here and uh, pass the query from form find itself that's why we need properties properties are real right lifesaver so let's use uh, include the using statement and basically we are just uh, repeating what we have written in find uh, previous uh, video itself so we will be getting the result here and uh, once we got the result we can use the result search status if the result search status is true and uh, basically the search is success we can uh, make the change in uh, form find editor basically we can uh, make the change in uh, text area itself so text area dot uh, select is equal to select of so result dot uh, selection start and then we will be needing uh, the length of the search query so basically we will be needing this part itself let's copy and paste this here and we are done so when the search is successful something will be highlighted here and the search is successful so the code is complete and i have noticed a mistake here so let me correct this it is not greater than zero it is equal to equal to zero sorry so now the code should work let's start this application so let's start this is an example and let's copy paste numerous times here so copy paste yeah so let's place the cursor sorry let's place the cursor here and then we can go to find so the button is initially disabled and when we type something it will be enabled and like i said i have placed cursor somewhere here and i am going to go down the next string will be selected yeah so then we can go upwards here let me place this selection here itself and cancel this actually close this 
and finally let me select this fine next it will uh, select upward this stream so it will select because basically we have uh, left it as in this state and the state is persistent and it is saved so that's how this works so we have completed all this uh, operation we have completed all the edit operation we and like eight videos or so so thank you guys for watching this video i think it's really useful to get you started if you are a beginner in c shop so like and share this video subscribe to my channel for future videos thank you